In this video, we're going to be talking about how to look after a recently seeded lawn, how long it takes and what you need to do next to get the best results. This video is part of the four week lawn care renovation challenge. If you haven't seen any of the previous videos, I'm going to link a card up and above. The series takes you through step by step each of the key stages on a lawn renovation plan with all the products I'm using each stage. All the products are in the description below if you want to check out some prices. The most important thing to think about when you've overseeded a new lawn is to keep the seed moist. Forget about applying more fertilizers or anything else. You need to keep the seed moist and in contact with the ground to allow it to germinate. By this, I mean setting up something watering multiple times a day, three or four times a day, depending on your weather conditions. So it's day one after we've seeded just yesterday and I can see already the birds are starting to come down. I've actually seen the birds in the morning and I generally think given how bad the weather's been, they're actually interested more in the um, earthworms and grubs that I've got in the lawn, more so than the actual seed itself. But I'm going to take you through how my watering system is set up. So basically I'm running a hose down the back of the house and linking it up to a Gardenia impact sprinkler. So the first thing you want to consider is making sure that you've got a really good coverage across your full area. With these type of sprinklers, you've got two main types of adjustment on them. You've got the level of oscillation you want, which can be adjusted by the two clips on the side. And also you've got a distance regulator, which can be adjusted on the top, which kind of fans the water out more or less, depending on how long or short you want the wave to be. After a couple of adjustments to the sprinkler, I found that it actually works best when it's secured in the ground. This helps to sort of reduce the level of vibration that you see on the sprinkler itself and helps it travel more smoothly from the right to the left direction. I also actually found at some points in the day the performance of the sprinkler changed depending on the water pressure. Um, if you've got low water pressure, maybe a system like this isn't actually ideal for you because I did find the sprinkler varied, sometimes it would stop. But I've also made a full video on picking the right sprinkler system for your garden, which I've linked in the card above. Overall, I've had this Gardena sprinkler for around about three to four years. And even though it's made out of plastic, it seems to be really well made. It's quite robust as well. And I would definitely recommend it if you've got the right water pressure to get it working. It's really important during the first few weeks to keep the seed moist. I was watering around four times a day in the morning, twice in the afternoon and once in the evening. That was until we had a bit of help from Mother Nature. After around a week, you'll start to see the uh, original grass coming through the top dressing mix. But I still haven't seen anything in terms of germination yet, but just keep up your watering. This is a ryegrass mix, which generally will germinate quicker between seven and 21 days. If you'd like to find out more about different grass types and how you should choose the right grass type for your lawn, subscribe to the channel because I've got a video coming out which explains all about that. Okay, I'm just starting to see some of the germination coming through into the soil. You can see the seedlings have started to take. I've noticed the areas that I top dressed are starting to look a little bit more thicker and the levels that we completely regraded are starting to take. 
we've had a huge amount of water over the last couple of days so I'm expecting some of the seed may have been lost but we'll see how we get on. One of the things to look out for is the weather forecast when you're about to put seed. You can seed at all times of the year but you'll get best results between spring and autumn. If it can be done outside of that check the weather forecast look for a rainy spell and if not make sure you apply a lot of water keep watering and watering and watering until things start to take all the products that i'm using are linked in the description below this particular seed is a ryegrass blend from a1 lawns it's the Premiership Pro version, which has got a multiple rooting system, which I particularly like for this front yard because of my poor soil quality and it does take a lot of heat. This grass is able to stand up to those factors and hopefully I'll get a lovely looking lawn at the end of it. At this point, don't worry about cutting the grass or any additional fertilizers, just keep the seed moist. can see here the grass overall is starting to thicken out quite a lot if anything this is probably getting too much water on that seed I'm expecting there's going to be a couple of spots here which I might have to reseed due to a washout or overwatering but we'll see out of the different seed mixes ryegrass is generally going to start to look thicker earlier and germinate quicker than the rest of the type of grass is you can see here again continuing the lawn to thicken out and some of the shoots are starting to come through in the thinner areas. You can see most of the lawn sections are looking really good now and they're starting to thicken up. This back corner here probably needs another sprinkling of seed over it just because we've had so much water I think some of it may have been washed away. We can also expect some further germination of the seed over the next couple of days and weeks. At this point the grass is around two inches long what i'm going to do is um, wait for another couple of days and then anywhere between two to three inches you can do your first cut you don't want to take much off on the first cut set the mowing on a very high setting just take the top off the lawn and make sure your blade is sharp on your mower i've got a video all about changing uh, lawn mower blades if you click the card above as this fell on Sunday, I decided to get a sharp new blade on my mower and do the first cut on the lawn. So all the areas over to the right and the back have seeded and thickened out really well. I'm really pleased with how the lawn looks. There's a couple of areas towards the left hand side, which is the areas that we really leveled the deepest spots in, but also the areas that took a real brunt of the rain. I'm sure these will fill out over the next week, so subscribe to the video so I can keep you up to date with the final results in the next video. If you've enjoyed the content and you want to find more videos about UK lawn care, please leave me a comment in the description below and even better if you can subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications for all the future videos. In the next video, I'll be looking to see if those patches have filled out and also discussing some aftercare tips after sowing a new lawn.